So the Clifton has gone through a lot of changes throughout the years. Luckily, with the Clifton 8, there aren't any crazy changes and it just has a few minor tweaks. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Clifton 8 to the Clifton 7, as well as a few other high cushion trainers, and give you my first impressions. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the specs. The Clifton 8 has a stack height of 37mm in the heel, 32 in the forefoot, including the sock liner, giving it a 5mm heel to toe drop. The weight of the Clifton 8 comes in at 8.9 ounces, and I put the shoe in the maximal trainer category. Alright, so talking about the fit of the Clifton 8, it definitely feels a lot roomier than the Clifton 7. With the Clifton 7, I felt like it really wrapped around my midfoot too tight and was almost a little too uncomfortable. I have pretty narrow feet and that shoe felt narrow to me. Luckily, this one feels way better and the length is the same, so it's true to size and had no issues with that or heel slipping. All right, so let's talk about the what's new shoe overview starting with the upper. So the upper mesh is very similar to the Clifton 7, though I think it's a tad softer and a little bit more flexible. The main difference comes with the tongue. It's a bit more plush than the Clifton 7, and it's gusseted higher up. The Clifton 7 felt too tight because the tongue attached under the sock liner, and the Clifton 7's tongue attaches higher up so you don't get that tight squeeze around the midfoot. The midsole gets tweaked a little with some slightly different flex grooves and a slightly softer foam. The outsole does get some decent changes. It gets more coverage and is now angled to help allow the forefoot to be more flexible. All right, so now let's talk about my first impressions and the ride of the Clifton 8. So when I first stepped into this shoe, I thought that it kind of hit my arch a little weird and especially compared to the Clifton 7, which I didn't really have this issue. Fortunately, once I started running in the Clifton 8, that went away and it felt completely normal. So speaking of running in the Clifton 8, you get that very familiar marshmallowy cushioned ride. And if you've run in the Clifton 6 and the Clifton 7, this is gonna be very, very similar maybe just a smidge softer, but overall, it's gonna be that same familiar ride. All right, now I'm gonna do a couple of quick comparisons to the Clifton 8. The first shoe I'm gonna be comparing it to is the ZoomX Invincible from Nike. So it's a little strange to say, but the ZoomX Invincible makes the Clifton 8 feel kind of firm. So that thick slab of ZoomX foam on the ZoomX Invincible is super soft and super bouncy, and it's just really hard to get that same bounce out of just traditional EVA that you find in the Clifton 8. That being said though, the Clifton 8 has more cushion and more protection underneath the forefoot and has a much more stable heel and midfoot. So it's really hard to choose between these two shoes because they are both fantastic options. I'd say if you want something that's a little more stable and a little bit more underfoot, then the Clifton 8's a good choice. But if you want something that's ultra soft and ultra bouncy, the ZoomX Invincible is your go-to. So the next shoe I'm gonna be comparing the Clifton 8 to is the Glide Ride 2 from ASICS. So both these shoes have very thick and very rockered midsoles though the midsole on the Glide Ride 2 is a lot firmer and I'd say a little more responsive and that rocker on it's gonna be more aggressive as well. So I think that helps kind of make this shoe a little bit easier to pick up the pace in, but I find that the Clifton 8 is much softer and much more forgiving and honestly just a little more versatile. So I will be comparing the Clifton 8 to the Hoka Mach 4 and Rincon 3 but I have so much to say about all those shoes that that's gonna be in a separate video. So I think the Clifton 8 is more of a refinement of the Clifton 7, though I think it, the tweaks that have been made have been really good improvements. But let me know in the comments down below, are you picking up the Clifton 8 or have you switched to the Mach 4 or Rincon 3? Speaking of which, I will be doing a full review of the Rincon 3 as well. Subscribe so you don't miss that. And as always, 
keep on running. <laughs>